into the next game on our docket, shall we? 951 952. The Metropolitans on Bobby Bonilla Day with David Peterson on the mound at minus 108. Mackenzie Gore and the Nats at minus 102. Total of eight with some juice to the over at minus 115. All right, B Dub, tell me if I'm crazy here, but and I know that you and I, the last time we pitched, we kind of talked about we liked Mackenzie Gore. The more I dig into it, I do not like Mackenzie Gore. I don't think he's very good. Not overly impressed with David Peterson, but he's been solid. I like the Mets lineup better than the Nationals lineup. I'm going to take, and it was a travel day. Now they're coming back home. We sort of talked about the nagging wife theory last year, right? I'm going to take the Mets today, double results at plus 150. What do you think about this one? Well, not only did we talk about the nagging wife theory, somebody wrote a rap about the nagging wife That's theory. That's right. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll bring that back on Friday. I'm still kind of undecided about what the mm. base player rap's going to be. As far as this game goes, got it priced at minus 132. It's in the market at minus 110. I think that your play's probably the way to go here. You know, one thing that's interesting about Gore is, is, I mean, it's not a big board, but he does have the highest strikeout percentage on the board at 32, and it's good. And I played him a couple games back. Uh, against the Diamondbacks, it seemed like he struck out, I don't know, 25 guys in five innings, and he still got he got that tag with right. the loss. But no, 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 he, he had like, eight, in all seriousness, he had eight strikeouts, and usually when that happens in the first five, you win your bet, but he gave up 10 hits. So uh, I don't know, there's there's something there that's that's kind of amiss uh, with, with Gore. I do like this, uh, the Mets bullpen quite a bit have them fourth in baseball have the offense ninth in baseball i think the components would indicate a a play uh, on on the mets kyle Uh, what i did with this is i i put it at the first leg i did a base winner parlay series to series mets nat mets to win the series uh brewers to win the series versus the rockies and uh you know i priced it out i had it i have it minus 132 today for the mets minus 198 tomorrow and then even with Quintana, i've got it priced at minus 140 uh for that third day comes up to an average of minus 154 binomial i have it minus 190 it's a really good price from a series standpoint i think so that's the way i went but it it it, when i was paging through this uh uh, there's a guy on the Nationals, DJ Hers, and it yeah. reminded me of the sign. Of, you, I think you guys are too young to, hey, Mr. DJ, they're playing that song, All Night, Come On. Do you remember that song, Kyle? I didn't hear the beginning of the question because that stinking beep thing, when the, uh, so I apologize. I couldn't hear. What, what song was it? Well, it's called Hey, Mr. DJ. My wife didn't know it, and she's three years oh. younger than me. So maybe it's, 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 it's yeah, not no. as mainstream but, as hey, I thought. Hey, Mr. DJ, put that one, the Madonna one? No, 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 no. That's the one my that's the one my wife knew. And and she, and I'm like, no, no, it's 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 Zane. And I play the thing on YouTube music, and she's like, I still don't know it, Mark. So I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm I'm. But anyway, the the, the band was called Zane. It, it but it was spelled Z H, which I I thought was interesting too. Anyway, DJ Hurts, second game pitcher for the Nationals, and and. Uh, you know, I got that priced in as well. But I think that I think that this is a good way to tackle a three-game card. Go series play. I like to go the series play. Uh, it's a it's a task that uh, that we were given about a month ago, and it's it, it's a task that I balked at originally. But now I'm enjoying it, and I'm enjoying it to right. the tunes of making a base winner parlay of it today, Kyle. You know what? You've been the absolute MVP of that segment, so I'm glad it happened too because I was the same way. I was like, yeah, and now I just I absolutely love it. So B Dub likes the Mets here in the series. That's the first leg of his base winner parlay. Kenny, the Nationals have one of the top prospects in baseball coming up today to make his debut. James Woody was part of the Juan Soto trade. 6'7, 240 pounds. He's been smashing triple A pitching. Uh, what do we think here? Nationals Mets. So I, I got a I got a fun one here that I, I'm I might have to I might have to live at. I'm just waiting for the uh, our team backstage to give me a uh, a proper price on this. Uh, I, I've I've seen a couple people float this one on Twitter, and uh, I, I think I'm I think I'm sold on it. Um, and I will say I think uh, we have had some success on guys making their first career MLB appearance mm-hmm. and getting a stolen base in their first game. I think I've only bet two of these all year. We hit Jackson Churio at 550. You think, think the right. first, first first show of the day. season? It was the first at bat of the year. Remember, he walked in the boat. We got it. That was a great call by you, by the way. So why don't we run it back and go James Wood? To record a stolen base uh, again, waiting on the bet US price in, in the market. I'm seeing roughly eight to one, maybe even maybe even a little higher. Um, look, he's not he's, he's not like known as like a stolen base specialist, but the speed is there. I think he had 58 career stolen bases during his stints in the minors. 
He's just a huge athletic specimen of a, of a human being. He's going to get on base and he's going to he's going to swipe a bag. I, I would love this even more if Alvarez is catching for the Mets today. Um, it, it's kind of it's going to depend on who they have back there. If it's Torrens yeah. behind the plate. I'd still probably bet it at like eight to one, but it's definitely a bit of a tougher ask. Torrens is a machine behind the plate. Alvarez yeah. is one of the worst like defensive catchers in all of baseball. So if this is Alvarez back there. This is a no brainer. But you know what? For purposes of this show, we're going to lock it in regardless. Give me half unit 0.5 on a James Wood stolen base. James Wood. I love it. Let, let's get some house cleaning here. First of all, great question for the love doctor. Uh, some of the asked, he's 52 years old and he's getting asked his age a lot by younger girls. How does he approach it? I'm going to give you the same advice we've been given for two years. Tell them that you're 20 years older than you are. So if you're 52, tell them you're 72 because you probably look, you know, I don't know what you look like, but probably, you know, average for 52, but I bet you look sensational for 72. And then she's going to want to see if everything else ages the same way. That would be my advice. And, uh, it would be funny too. just say, Hey, would you believe it? If I told you I'm 91 and they're going to go, no way. And boom, there you go. It's that simple. It's really not that difficult. Also, I don't know if I'd go 72 on that. I'd go 62. 72 is a little years creepy. Old? I, May, I don't know. There's something about like maybe 59 because a girl would be like, well, not that I've ever done that before. But right. uh, the, 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 if we go too high, maybe they'll, they'll think it's a little bit weird. That's hilarious. Uh, I want to point out that our chat play poll of the day is up. So make sure you vote on the poll. Have your voice heard so we can pick your chat play of the day. It's an official part of our record sheet. Your options today are the Mets double results at plus 150. The Mets team total over four and a half at plus 110. The Rockies on the money line at plus 133 and the Astros on the money line at minus 140. I will go ahead and make my vote without saying what I'm voting for. Uh, right now, the early lead is going to the Astros on the money line. So that's uh, what we have going on right now. For purposes of the show, the first leg of the base winner parlay is going to be the Mets to win the series. I'm taking the Mets double result today at plus 150. And Kenny is live betting half a unit on James Wood, making his debut, called up from the minors, number three prospect in all of baseball, to get a stolen base. And that's hovering somewhere. We're waiting on something official, but about eight to one, we think. Some, somewhere uh, in that range. Larry Lesnick says, hello, Bill Belichick. I mean, if Bill Belichick can do it, if he can hook up with younger girls, anybody can. I mean, that's a fugly dude. Like, you don't think it's creepy that Bill, like, can you imagine just, ugh. I can't he's, hook, he's, he's hooking up with younger younger girls, really. Yeah, I didn't know there that. was some, you know, it was like the whole thing. He'd been doing it for a while. I don't, I forget the story. They even made fun of him on the Tom Brady roast for it, you know. Uh, and is there just a more? That's just, uh, I can't think of a more creepy old guy to hit on a young than Bill Belichick. Let just, him cook. Let him. Let cook. him cook. Yeah, let him cook. I just. Ugh, ugh. I'm just, I'm just glad I'm not a young gal. That's all I got to say. Yeah, she's 24. I just, ugh, that, that, that thing can gross me out more than Bill. Belichick. Let's head to the...